Greetings, family. This is Bomani Samba. Welcome to our Africa for the Africans uh, Tours conference call. Today's date is uh, Sunday, February the 17th, and uh, we're here to talk about the three tours that we have scheduled for uh, Africa this year. Uh, two to Ghana, um, one in May and one in December, and then uh, South Africa in November. All right, so a list of conference call details was sent out to uh, everyone, and uh, we're going to go through it, uh, not in the same exact sequence. It's just a list of different topics and overall things that we go through. And what I've been doing in, as of lately is sending out the, the conference call in the newsletter. If you are not getting the uh, conference call email, check your junk mail. All right, so everyone, I have everyone on mute. And once you go to certain segments of the conference call, uh, open things up and then just ask your question, give your name, where you're calling from, and what journey you're taking, and then ask your question, and then we'll just go through it. And my goal is to just go through as many segments of our Q&A as possible. So while you're on the call, uh, just make a list of all the questions that you may have. I'm going to just go over general details of the current tours we have and all the updates and, de and details. And the goal is to just finish everything in one hour. And so family, I'm go back to the, um, the newsletter. So all of the details and all updates I have now are in this uh, newsletter sent out uh, via a program called MailChimp. And what I've noticed is the emails may not be getting to everyone, uh, so it's either being sent to a, one of those additional folders, either, either your junk, your spam folder, or, or archive folder, or you know, maybe alternate folder. And what I want to do also is just, uh, go to a few updates that I have uh, in reference if you have noticed um, one or two tour dates have changed. So I'm going to go through that in full details in this and definitely explain why. And what I want to do is just start off with the uh, South Africa November 2019 segments. Uh, South Africa uh, with optional uh, Zimbabwe, Botswana, and uh, Zambia has uh, been um, removed in order to adjust the tour. So the only thing I did was I made the two days less. And in, instead of safari in Botswana, the safari now is in South Africa. So it is uh, still the date that of uh, November 22nd we're leaving, but instead of uh, the tour ending and returning back on December 4th, it's now December 2nd, and it's uh, $700 less, so it's 3700 and it's still a full all-inclusive package, uh, including the round-trip flights from Johannesburg to Cape Town and back to Johannesburg, and all of your flights are uh, set up for the connection uh, to Atlanta. Um, and other segments uh, that we have scheduled. Uh, so not much uh, have changed, um, and it is just to make the adjustment to make it a simpler, focused uh, journey, and also to where it's, um, you know, hopefully that adjustment uh, worked out to where we can have a strong, solid group uh, to leave uh, November 22nd to South Africa. All right, and as I'm talking about the uh, South Africa tour details, what I'm going to do is uh, click over to our website, africaforafricans.org. So once you go to the website, uh, you go to the main menu, and you scroll down, and you'll see our uh, South Africa Roots and Culture Tour, November 2019. And the first article is the tour overview. And as soon as you open up, it just gives you the, the confirmed dates, November 22nd, to December 2nd, and this uh, one solid price, uh, 3700 and the uh, and if you're looking for a single room, it's uh, 500 single supplement, and that's kind of the standard flow of what I got for the other two tours uh, in Ghana. So the tour to uh, South Africa includes transportation and tours throughout South Africa, daily exercise and meditation a session based on volunteers in the group uh, to lead sessions or people that's coming out to free exercise. Daily continental breakfast, uh, lunch, and gourmet dinner. And we have a three, three and four star uh, hotel accommodation, double occupancy uh, booking. Yeah. And below, um, below, once it shows Johannesburg and Cape Town, you'll see the link. And also, you'll see the link in the tour itinerary. 
So you can click on the link and you'll see the uh, Protea Hotel at Johannesburg and Cape Town. So entrance and access to all sites and activities, and we have certified English-speaking uh, tour guides. And what's not included is the $50 group tips and any camera, camcorder, fees at sites, or anything that's uh, optional. All right, while we're in uh, Johannesburg, uh, it has been extended from three days to uh, five days. And the additional day give us a flow over from the, the full safari day on day number three. And so a list of cultural, historical parts of uh, uh, the itinerary. I, have a, I feel like we have had uh, uh, Johannesburg and uh, Soweto, Soweto uh, covered completely as far as all of the, uh, the historical and cultural things that uh, you know, our, our brothers and sisters in African diaspora want to see and connect with. So I have the, uh, the city uh, cultural village based on uh, the cradle of mankind. So that will showcase the different uh, tribal or cultural groups in uh, South Africa. Mandela House in Orlando, South uh, West Soweto. And this has been turned into a national um, memorial or national uh, museum or natural, national uh, monument. Hector Peterson uh, Museum and Memorial. Uh, the Apartheid Museum, which is an architectural interest in pact of thoughtful, open, brutal reminders of South African history. So all of that uh, does showcase that uh, history of um, apartheid and so on in depth. Uh, so we try to just showcase everything based on two days, the first two days, um, you know, to cover all of these things. The old fourth at Constitutional Hill, and um, once we cover those two days, the third day is Planetsburg Game Reserve, and so this is just an ideal um, destination for a full day safari. So we're going to be out all day and get back in later in the night. Uh, but the good thing about it, the next day is a free or open day. And then the day after that, we're going to fly to Cape Town. All right, so once we um, depart to the Johannesburg Airport, you're looking at a two-hour flight uh, to get to Cape Town. And once we get to Cape Town, that day is uh, open. Uh, so we can just use that also as another free open day. So trying to set the schedule to where it's flexible and organized where you have time to move around and, and do certain things and it's not burned out. So a list of the things that we have scheduled for the two, uh, the two actual tour days in uh, Cape Town. District 6 Museum to learn, to learn about the apartheid history. Township tours including uh, Langa and Kileleitu. Also, we have scheduled for a ferry to UNESCO listed Robin Island for a tour of former prisons for political prisoners. This is where Mandela, Nelson Mandela spent 18 of his 27 years in prison. You have a panoramic sight over the city from the top of Table Mountain, which we will go. And if you're open to going to the cable cars, that's a part of uh, what we have scheduled. Cape Town, Malay quarters, and learn about the neighborhood, fascinating history, uh, Castle of Good Hope, and Milnerton Lighthouse, right? uh, Cape Town Diamond Works uh, to see South Africa's finest uh, jewelry. And we're lodging at the uh, Otia Hotel, Cape Town. And there's a link right under there, under the uh, tour overview details for both uh, Cape Town and Johannesburg, where you click on it and you'll see the details for the hotels. That way you're clear where we're lodging. And so it's not like it's a lot shorter, but it's literally, literally just two days less. And the uh, optional countries we were going to, they were just one-day tours. You're in Zambia for four days, and you do one day in Botswana, one day in Zimbabwe, and then you have you know one day of tour we do in Zambia, and then one is a free day. Unfortunately, we had, had to, I've had to just make, make adjustments on these multiple country tours and just make them more focus-oriented. So now we just have scheduled the separate tours, Ghana and South Africa. So the other tours that have been removed is uh, the optional Togo and Benin that we usually do every once in a while uh, when we go into the Ghana tours. But anyone who is usually just interested in any of these things and they want to do it optionally on their own, it's one of those things where they just communicate with me and we'll just work things out to get it all set up for you and work out the arrangements. Um, uh, flights, uh, lodging, and connect you with a good guide. 
And so what I'm going to do is go back on the main menu of the website and click on South Africa Roots and Culture Tour, November 2019. And so there's a few other lists of articles. There's a, a full general terms, which uh, talks about this, all the responsibilities and what's uh, and the overall important things in all the parties that's involved. Then I have a full day-to-day -day itinerary, which includes all of the flight schedule from leaving from Atlanta to Johannesburg and back, and then the Cape Town and Johannesburg round trip uh, flight on South African Airways. So all those are scheduled and detailed in the flight numbers and everything. So you can just literally look at the full thing, and that's what we're going by. And any minor adjustment, we just uh, keep you posted and let you know. Uh, next thing is the South Africa visa ver visa uh, clarification. So uh, I'm going to click on a link and read the details which I got from the South Africa uh, Embassy uh, website. A U.S. citizen, U.S. passport holders visiting the Republic of South Africa for 90 days or less for tourism slash business purpose do not need a visa. And then it goes all into uh, details about other situations, including U.S. green card holders, uh, can travel for less than uh, 30 days uh, without a visa. So that's uh, all of us and anyone else looking to stay longer just have to communicate with me so we can just be clear on other things. Uh, so I'm going to click back on the top of the uh, South Africa tour link. All right, the, the last two um, articles that I created was the uh, departure and reminder list for South Africa. Uh, and so that's... Uh, Interesting a list of 30 things, and I use it from lists that I've used to get people prepared to travel to Ghana. So it's just a list of just a lot of different things, uh, but it just helps you put things in perspective as far as when you're ready to leave and give you full reminders. The things that you may have forgotten, it's on that list that you, you know, that will give you a reminder if you go through it and use it as a check sheet. Another one is uh, improving your immune system. And it just gives you this details of these things to boost your immune system and maintain a tropical uh, diet. Uh, so these are the basic things that we use just to make sure that we have a smooth journey. And that's what I've been doing since the begin, beginning of 2006 uh, and sharing these details. And, you know, we have had a smooth journey you know, all throughout uh, the 15 times I've taken a tourist to Ghana and then a smooth journey in other countries also. All right, and uh, anyone that's using the, the screen sharing, I have it completely off uh, so we can just focus on the audio call, and I have the video completely off also. But, uh, you know, maybe we use in the future um, screen sharing and, and just, you know, full video call. All right, uh, but uh, beyond that, I just, everybody could just follow me on the uh, website, uh, which... Uh, for me, it will get you more familiar with uh, this, the navigation of the website in general. Uh, so that is all of the details for the South Africa Roots and Culture Tour in November 2019. And uh, once again, uh, the uh, dates are November 22nd to December 2nd. And all of the full details are up on the website. Just click on the South Africa link on the main menu. And other supporting uh, links are going to be there as far as our payment options and plan and any relative emails that uh, you need or if you haven't gotten any of the newsletters, uh, let me know and I can just send it to you um, via email from my inbox. All right, so uh, family, what I'm going to do is open up um, for questions in reference to the South Africa tour and then once we finish that, we move on to Ghana tour and then we'll just close things out with a few uh, things and then we'll just connect back with you. So it is star six to unmute yourself. Um, give your name and where you're calling from. Any question? My name is Harold Roberts, and I'm calling from Cincinnati, Ohio. And I wanted to know about what documents you need to go with your visa and the contact person that goes on the document. All right, everyone, um, I was asking about I was talking about it in reference to the South Africa tour. But the email I uh, sent to you, when you open the attachment, you're going to see my sample application. Once you print my sample application, um, you'll see the list of the hotels that we're dealing with. And also, once you open up the email, it's in the email body of the Micklin 
and One Africa Hotel, the hotel managers, their number, their address, and that's, those are the representation who are inviting us into the country, and that's on that email also. If you go to the Ghana tour December or May, and you click on, you open it up, you'll see the Ghana visa. When you open up the Ghana visa details, you scroll down, and you'll see the same details. All right, uh, so uh, let me know if you have, let me uh, mute you, and then we, I'll be talking about the visa in full details um, for the record in about uh, 10 minutes. All right, so Harold, I am going to mute you. All right, uh, so uh, anyone, uh, do you have any questions in reference to the South Africa tour? All right, uh, since no one has any questions in reference to the South Africa tour, once again, 100% uh, of the tour information, if you're interested in going to South Africa, is on the website on the South Africa Roots and Culture Tour, November 2019. All you have to do is click on the link, and you'll see all of the articles and the details in reference to the tour. And then once you check it out, you can just call me direct, and we can talk about it, and I can give you all clarity and answer any questions. All right. All right, so family, we'll move on to the next set of things that we have. Uh, we, have, uh, we have a schedule coming up uh, Ghana tour May 2019. Uh, so the dates are May 22nd to June 4th. And also, if anyone is looking to stay longer on that tour, let me know ahead of time because we're at the point where we're closing out on our group booking as far as the routes that we need. Uh, so any adjustments that anyone needs to make, uh, let me know. And if there's a price difference, you know, whether it's now or later, um, I'll let you know whether you choose to stay longer or not. But uh, it's uh, one of those uh, options that you have. Uh, that way we can change a ticket fee versus you're trying to change a ticket at the last minute, which would incur about a $350 change fee from Delta Airlines if you want to stay longer in Ghana. Maybe a the different uh, difference in fare if it goes over more into the summertime with a fare increase. So all of those are things that um, if you need um, my assistant, um, just call me and let's talk about it. We can work it out. Uh, so this Ghana tour, we have uh, everything is set um, for us to leave, and we have we have flights arranged for every single person who have paid a deposit and have committed to the tour. So everyone that's uh, traveling with me in May, uh, you, you should have a Ghana flight itinerary. If you do not have a Ghana flight itinerary to apply for your visa, please just uh, send me an email, and I will reply back with the flight itinerary. The flight itinerary represent what I have for you scheduled based on reserving your flights on Delta Airlines. Uh, so it'll be just an attached PDF. Print it out and put it in your visa package. And right now, traveling to Ghana, uh, we've talked about the itinerary and overview many times. What I want to do is go into full details in reference to the, the visa. So right now, I'm looking at the Ghana visa email. And anyone that's traveling with us to Ghana, if you don't have a Ghana visa email, just please just uh, send me an email. As I was talking about is the uh, Ghana visa email. I'm going to actually go to my uh, email. So it will say Ghana Visa Requirements, Application, and Process. Please read as soon as possible. So everyone that has ever I've gotten your email, I'll usually send this email to you right away. So you can also just do an email search, Ghana Visa, uh, in your email, and it will come up. But if you literally can't find it or don't see it, you know, just uh, communicate back with me. All right, so I am uh, looking at the email. It has four attachments. Uh, requirements to obtain a Ghana visa, Bomani sample Ghana visa, and a Ghana visa application, which is blank, and an image of the Ghana visa. Now, the sample visa application, which I'll just open up and, and go over, you know, uh, since it's in, versus just going over the blank application. Now, once you open my sample application, um, it's basically what I've sent over which, and what everybody else has used. So the first thing you'll notice, you'll see a check for multiple entry visa. And it's saying multiple entry and $100. And uh, the length of the visa is good from anywhere from a minimum of one year to five years. That's the detail of what I've seen over the, the last several years. And it's just based on what the embassy is giving out of that year. One year, I remember, they were giving out one year visa, one year, I remember, three year visa. 
and now a few more people getting a five-year visa. So it's nothing that I would know what you're going to get. So in the documentation, I'll put one to five years. All right, so application for Ghana entry permit slash visa, Embassy of Ghana, 3512 International Drive, Northwest Washington, D.C., 20008. So that is where you want to send your, you know, send your package, and then it has a website and a phone number. All right, I just throw on application um, one, um, just all your personal information. And the good thing about the sample application I have is if you're, you're good at just using your computer to where you can use the Adobe Acrobat, uh, even if you just use the trial version, you can edit uh, my application and then just template the type up. Or you can just use regular PDF and then when you do edit it, you can't save it, so you have to print it right away. So you fill out your personal information and your visa details, your profession, number two, three, and your address that you have. Same, you know, if you don't have a business address, you can just put NA. Proposed date of travel, you know, just put the list of the tour dates, whether you're traveling in May or December. Five, it's uh, traveling check for air. Yes, uh, you have a ticket, and then what you do is you put Delta Airlines and you put uh, the confirmation number, which is on your flight itinerary. And amount you, you want to get traveling with you, just, you can just put any money amount. I'll put 800 on this. Um, scroll down some more. We're at six. The purpose of your journey. I'll put tourism, simplest thing to put. Seven, name, address, and telephone numbers of two reference or place of residence in Ghana slash name hotel, uh, very important. So this represents the two people I talked about earlier that are inviting us. So we're staying four days at the Micklin uh, Hotel in Accra and three in one in Kumasi. So we're there for seven days. And then um, one Africa, we're staying here for three days. So the entire time we've been there in Ghana, we're in the hotels of these two managers. So that completes your invitation. Uh, if you're coming from... Canada or somewhere in Europe or somewhere else, and you know, actually for invitation letter, um, I have something else I would send you. I would uh, send you an invitation letter typed up, uh, which Amicus invite you to the country. Uh, so those are th those are the two ways it completes your invitation into the country to complete your your visa application. At the uh, scroll down, uh, if em if for employment name and address of employer in Ghana, so that's not in reference to us. So you can just put NA uh, for any uh, parts that's non applicable uh, versus leaving it blank. Duration of stay and put the amount of time ten or twelve days. And if you visit Ghana before you put the you know visit, and then you put you know sign and date your application. And once you finish, you just print it off. And it's, everything is in duplicate. So on the top right, you're going to put your password style photos, uh, one on, on one and one on the other. And if you just want to keep your a copy, just print your copy, just keep the digital copy. All right, so, uh, so that's a, a general case on the list of the application. It's two pages. So uh, what I read to you is just a summary. But what you're going to do is just scroll all the way to the bottom, and you see the second part of the application. and just use my sample application and fill it out. So whichever way you do it is fine. It's just trying to send you an email where you have as much support and clarity as far as filling out the application uh, to where it's simple and not frustrating. So that's the, uh, the Ghana visa uh, application and sample application. And then the requirements, while I was going through that, just going through the general requirements. And uh, what you're looking to do and only other thing I didn't mention is it's, there's one request for a, a bank statement. So I tell people not to freak out about that. You can send a letter from your, get a letter from your bank, or use any of your you know, your bank letters and copy the first page. It's not about uh, your account number or anything like that, but it'll set, it's a sense of verification. So you need to show your address and needs to show your name, or you could print one off online. And then anyone who just not really clear about that, you can just always just email me or just call me directly and then I can just explain it. Or if you need an alternate method, method or something, I uh, will have to talk about that. But that's uh, one of their main requirements. Uh, so once you get all of these uh, documents and everything all together, uh, print out the uh, flight itinerary and put in the package, 
you're going to get a prepaid return envelope and you're going to fill out your uh, return address where, where the embassy needs to put your passport because yes you do need to put your actual passport in the package and then once you get it you'll see the visa stamp there's an attachment of what the stamp looks like it's actually physically in your passport so that would just be one thing being sent back and your documents will be shredded or you know, kept on record so that is your Ghana visa process and what I also have in the email the main thing is in the body of the email if you stroll all the way down you'll see the notes for completing visa application manager manager's details and uh, you see a quick uh, check sheet for visa package so even on that check sheet it's really giving you a reminder of all the things that you need that way you don't you don't forget anything so it's a one two seven list and I'll just go to it which is some of the things I've gone through before but uh, one uh, you need two applications signed use Bomani sample visa application as an example two staple two passport style photos to the top right of the application uh, three money order order payable to the Embassy of Ghana for sixty dollars for a single entry and a hundred dollars for multiple entry and remember if you're applying for single entry only apply two months before you physically leave for that trip because the visa is only good for three months I've seen where people apply for that visa months earlier and then the visa is expired before they actually leave from the US so you know don't get caught into that and and while you're traveling this year if you just want to go with the multiple entry you, you're guaranteed at least one year so you can apply for that uh, right now for flat itinerary with your full name as it shows on your passport or just your first and last name uh, five bank statement or letter from your bank to verify your name and address or proof of residency six prepaid return envelope with tracking or certified return seven uh, most important your passport has to go in the package and, and that's my quick sheet so once you print off the email itself and the actual attachment and you go through everything everything is there and then if you have any questions you can just always jot it down email it to me or call me and we go through it so family that's uh, the visa details and what I'm going to do is uh, go back to the website uh, to Ghana tour May 2019 where we have some of the same details the only thing that you won't have is the attachment since I can't attach uh, those documents I'm talking about to this email uh, but th what you'll see is just you click on Ghana visa May 2019 and the only difference now if you just want to use the email is there's a link to download the application and download the regular application not the fast process so the fast process end up just causing you costing you double the amount of money uh, when you're rushing it instead of one hundred dollars two hundred dollars instead of sixty it's a hundred uh, and then you know you just use the details at the bottom of this email as far as you know the people that invite us to the country so those are just the full ways of just completing the Ghana visa detail and I try to make sure I have everything up that way simple for everyone as much as possible but the only thing I ask everyone before you tend to ask a lot of questions just print it out and go to it and what I just mentioned is basically all of the details and right, so let me go back to the, uh, the tour overview of the uh, Ghana May tour and the Ghana December tour so all so both of these tours May and December um, one it, the May one is two days longer and December the um, ticket price is ridiculous some of the price of the tickets are closer to 2000 and it will go up some more so I just work some strategy to adjust the dates for December so instead of December 20 20th to the 31st it's uh, now December 24th to January 4th uh, so still the same um, you know, same schedule 10 full days in Ghana um, so the only difference in that tour is you have two days in Takarati beyond that we have the full four days in Accra uh, three days in Kumasi and then three in Cape Coast Elmina so the December schedule is more of what I'm looking to go with um, just like I've just did the South Africa tour just less moving around more focus oriented and just a way to where it keeps the price down 
and then anyone who want to stay longer in a country or want to go to additional countries, I can always work that out. I've done it over the period of time since we started doing business in 2006. And it's um, simple arrangements based on communication. The earlier the better uh, with those details. So both of our Ghana tours or all of our Ghana tours, um, the same things are all included. Uh, transportation and tours throughout Ghana, daily exercise and meditation session, daily continents of breakfast and gourmet dinner, um, name and ceremony and ancestral celebration, hotel accommodation, double occupancy, business and investment conference, entrance and access to all sites and activities. And what's not included is lunch, $50 group tips, camera slash camcorder fees at the site. Uh, let me just go through a list of, the, of what we consist of the four days in Accra. Um, then just give you a general breakdown. The first thing we get there is usually closer to the night. So that's a quick orientation in nightlife. The uh, first day I usually alternated either we go out to the city or go up to the mountains. Um, but nevertheless, uh, if we're scheduled to go up to the mountains, we're visiting Trinity Home Academy, which is a school slash orphanage up in the mountains past Avery in Tutu. And once we go there, uh, we have a land site in that back area uh, for those who are interested in you know, acquiring land. Uh, so that will be later explained once I get all the details and we'll just make a route. Once we leave Trinity, just go and check it out. And then we just head back down and do our normal route of going to the botanical garden and the wood carving village. And also once we finish there, we're just going to head down and head to the University of Ghana and drive through and then we're going to get back to the hotel, hopefully just early, closer to 4 or 5, and then everybody just get themselves ready and we just go out for nightlife and dinner and nightlife there at Jamrock Restaurant for a nice Jamaican slash Ghanaian buffet. Uh, so that's one of the nights where we actually go out and eat versus staying at the hotel. The, the second day, uh, when we do go to the city, it's this across city tour and it's uh, the Pan-African Movement Energy, uh, 1957. So we're looking to go to the Kwame Kuma Memorial Park, W.E.B. Du Bois um, Memorial, George Padmore Library, the Arts and Culture Center, uh, where you can do all your shopping. Later on, we'll have it set up to where we do our repatriation investment conference. So I have people scheduled, um, that's the usual set of people that talk about health and wellness, repatriation, the process of leaving America, actually moving to Ghana and doing business, or representation from Ghana Investment Promotion, people that are, are general investors and business people sharing you know, the details and how you can approach being successful and doing you know, and making you move to Ghana. So all of those things are things I have and what I've done over the years uh, since you know, we, we also use it for our own resources is just I've recorded all of them and put them in segments right there on YouTube under Repatriation Investment Conference and that's something you can always search in general in YouTube but uh, I'll go through the YouTube and Facebook details as far as with access pictures and videos and then the details segment. And uh, so that is second uh, day on tour. And then the third day on tour we have uh, set up to where we go to outside of, um, outside of Accra, closer to Tema called Prom Prom and Ningo. And there I have a good friend uh, that I've that connected with over the period of time of myself traveling to Ghana and us just working on different ways how we can interest more people to to come and live and do business in Ghana. Uh, so he, his name is Jerry Johnson. He has the Aboma Ocean View Restaurant and Guest House, and you get a tour of the memorial wall of 90 large portraits of our ancestors. That is the main highlight. And if Sister Erna or a few of the, the folks I've known over the years um, is available for us to do one of those walkthroughs of their home, then we do, we'll do that also and then head back to Accra and the goal is just to get ready for the morning and once we you know get ready for the morning is to get the bags, get the bus loaded and head up to Kumasi for about a you know five hour drive and a few stops in between and then we'll also play things like uh, you know some good interesting documentary you know, my favorite to always play is uh, Life and Death which talks about the World Bank and the IMF in Jamaica and also uh, the Haitian Revolution you know, to showcase you know that those history and those struggles from the Caribbean and also just adding other things um, 
you know, popular documentaries and things that we have listed uh, based on the time that we have. But most of the time that we have scheduled for that is to do introductions. And I like to record introductions, but it's one of those things where I need everyone's permission. And those who don't want their introduction recorded, just let me know. It's a simple thing. We don't want to record anything that, you know, that you know, may be an issue with someone. Because everything I record, I put online as a way to showcase what we do just to give people a clarity of what we do for the full journey. That way there's no surprises or this, and everything is clear. So the link for the hotel also is at the the bottom, uh, Micklin Hotel. And it'll, Micklin Hotel Accra is a two-star, and the one in Kumasi is a three-star. Now, so once we leave from Accra, we step it up, and then when we get to you know, Cape Coast, I mean, I'll talk about that one. All right, so once we are in uh, Kumasi, we're there for three days, and the first travel day is the day our goal is to get us there early so we can relax. Um, and nightlife is the only thing we really schedule. Dinners, dinners in the evening, then uh, nightlife. And we're looking to go out for a little bit, hour, two hour, uh, after 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock or so. So what we have set up for the two full days, uh, which is this uh, breakdown to make it simpler. You know, you have the, you, know, you have the full city tour in Kumasi. And the main place we go to at the beginning is the craft villages. So Banwir for Kente cloth and Tanso for Dinka uh, stamps. On the, on the different cloths that you have. And also um, a journey to the wood carving village area there. So those are those back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back, um, villages that you go to that you get things for a very reasonable price. So definitely you know, you know, bring as much as you need to buy those things. And once we leave from there, you know, we're going to head up to Aixa Cafe where we can just have uh, lunch and relax a little bit. The culture center is there, and for anyone that wants to just get their shopping on day earlier, they can just go there. On the next day when we return, we're going to go to the Shanti Palace Museum, uh, which is an extensive uh, tour, and then we'll go to the uh, culture center, and then we'll go back to Aixa Cafe Bar and Grill, which is just an incredible place in Kumasi for us to just have lunch, uh, relax, connect socially with the people uh, there. And right, so that completes uh, uh, Kumasi. Now, in traveling in May, um, this is only for May, uh, Takarati and Sekandi in the Western region. Don't really have much schedule, and one or two things may just be, you know, just add to it once we, uh, we start heading that way. Just wanted it to be where we get scheduled on a beach resort, and we can relax, and we can just you know, do the city tour and, you know, find out more about, you know, the Western region and the different aspects of the culture and things like that, you know, so it gives you... A, a feel of, you know, because you're going from Accra, then you do, then, then you know, Kumasi, and it's just literally just different region and different culture. A few historical parts that we're going to go to, and now i got one or two other things I'm working on. So it's going to be a very nice, interesting time, and then we'll see how that works on this itinerary, but, uh, and, and maybe we'll see in the future how that goes, but this is our first time, this is we going there and trying to make the tours set to where we get a chance to just go to different parts of Ghana and then document it and then just put it in perspective and just offer different options, especially when people just want to do optional journeys. All right, and what um, all the tours have in common, Elmina and Cape Coast in the Central Region. Now, we have, there's two dungeons. There's one is Elmina, one in Cape Coast. Uh, so I just have both of them on there, but it's not realistic for us to go to both of them in the time frame. So instead of just rushing to both of them, we have a schedule where we go to Cape Coast and then have an extensive tour, and it's just full details and depth. Uh, so the other one is not much of a difference. I mean, it's whole older, and then you, know, you have different European devils that uh, ran the show there. Um, but nevertheless, uh, you know, anyone that's in interested in doing both of them, um, I have that schedule to where we're going to get someone to take you there on the day that we do the canopy walk. Look at the itinerary so you're clear on the flow of how those uh, things work if you want to do some things and you don't want to do certain things. So while we're in uh, the Central Region, we're going to Akoma International Academy, Arts and Sciences, uh, the uh, second school. And the third school is the uh, Marcus Garvey School on the Garvey Town compound, which we'll go to for those who are interested in acquiring land on Garvey Town. It's, you know, it's information that I have right there on the website 
right above all of the tours. And it's a full community operation, and it's something that I've been working on, trying to work on forever since traveling there to Ghana. It's just not worked out with many places because a lot of things have to be in place. You have to have the, someone has to have the land, and it has to be legally clear and those things. And you have to just have people that are dedicated to want to work on a project and things like that. But this is a true community, and it's something that I'm proud of that we've been able to just put together. So anyone interested, you click on the link, read through it, and we can always talk about it. Um, and then there's a newsletter I've sent out, which is the same thing. It gives you a flow of information, with links and other things in it to complete the details. And I do have a legal email where I can send where it gives you the legal paperwork of ownership and things like that, which is always important when you're dealing with land. Or in the case of Ghana, just any kind of legal situation, you just want to have legal representation and legal clarity. And that way you just don't get yourself caught into drama. So someone like myself, I've literally just been here doing business back for the last 12 years. And honestly, just have, I've had little to no problems. But other people have mentioned they have issues with certain things. But you, you, have, to, you have to approach the flow of what you're doing there in a, you know, with certain street smarts and things like that. Uh, so, you know, we don't just go around and just give anyone five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 for land because they say they're a chief and they're prince and they sell your sweet dream, which I've seen happen unbelievable. And, and so if someone say that to you, just come to us, myself and my staff and crew of people that we have available because we have a full tour operation. And once we uh, complete uh, the journey there in the Central Region, um, we'll, we'll head from the Marcus Garvey community, which I'm hoping that over the years as we take people there, they'll see a good flow of... Um, a good flow of uh, development as I take on the administrative and take on this, giving more assistance and focusing more on that project. So that's really what I'm been dedicated to that and the tours that we're doing. Uh, you know, so that's you know that's literally all of my time. But what uh, deal with here at this uh, office? All right, so family, that's the tour overview there uh, for the Ghana tour May and. December 2019. So once again, you can just go to the tour link and see all the details. And then from there, you can scroll down and you see a Ghana tour book. A Ghana tour book. So it's a list of the tour books, which is a full program organized into an 80 to 88 page book. Depends on whatever year you click on, on the book. And, you know, it's, once again, it's just there to give you clarity of the type of business we do, how we do it, to make sure everything is clear. That way, everybody could just make a sound decision and compare it to whatever else out there in the market, you know, which is, you know, for me, it's all good. It's the only way I see doing business, uh, putting information out there and then being able to compare it and analyze things and being able to just do your field research. So there's a few other supporting documents, including the conference calls uh, that just usually just tell you ahead of time the next two conference calls and also provide you a link to the uh, conference call recordings. All right, so everyone, I'm going to uh, stop and open things up for question and answer. And as a matter of fact, before I do that, let me just click on YouTube. So once you go to the YouTube page, youtube.com forward slash Bomani2007, which is you know, my YouTube page that's dedicated to the work of things I do, which is mainly the tours, and then maybe one or two other things that I record, like interviews and things that are over the period of time. Once you're on the website, uh, the first set of links, uh, you see uploads, and that's just the general upload, and you'll see the latest tour that just came from November 2018, and you'll see it's at the Ashanti Palace. Uh, unfortunately, um, you can't record in there, and can't take pictures, which is, just, which is fine. It's what it is, uh, so we just don't have any footage on the inside. Uh, you scroll down, you'll see uh, playlists, uh, several different playlists, and, and the main thing, if you want to see all the playlists in general, you look up to the top and you see playlists on the, my uh, YouTube page, which, you know, if you click on the website, it will say YouTube, it will take you directly to this page. All right, so the popular um, playlist that I have is Ghana November 2018 Tour Highlights, Ghana Tour Conference uh, Calls and Interviews, Ghana Tour Member Feedback, Ghana May 2018 Tour Highlights, Ghana Repatriation Investment Conference, Black Pan African Consciousness, African Holocaust Dungeons in Ghana, and Ghana School Supplies and Donations. So those are lists of the playlists. So family, what I'm going to do, um, and I'll say this the last thing, uh, Facebook. Once you get to the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Bomani, you just click on photos, 
and then you click on albums and then you'll see every single you see albums for every single tours I've done in Ghana from December 2006 uh, all the way up to November 2018 so family those are the two sets of documentation we have and then the third set uh, the website and things like that so that's the full details of what we have so everyone who's interested in doing business with us can be clear so family, let me open everything up for questions and answers. So just press star six to unmute yourself and uh, give your name, where you're calling from, and uh, your question. Yeah, Harold, go ahead. Someone else is chiming in. I'll tell them to hold on. Uh, you sent me the copies, examples of, of the uh, piece of form, but I didn't see one with you know, ex your example of how to fill it out with all the information. Can you s send me that and label that sample form from you? Yeah, Aaron, that's what I did two times. I sent you both emails, and when you when the email goes to you, I see what's being sent. So if you want to physically just call me tomorrow or tonight when you're physically in front of your email and you can access your email, you and I can go to the email and go to what you actually see and what I see to make okay, sure that we okay. the same thing. But there's four attachments. So if you see four attachments, it's on there. Uh, one is a sample application and one is a blank application. But nevertheless, okay. we're also saying on the physical email, if you print the entire email out, when you scroll down, you'll see the other details that you can just use from the email and type into the application. Okay, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to Staples and I'm going to print everything out that you send me through the email that you're going to send me. Then I can finish this my visa form. And when, how long should I hold on to it? Should I wait till the end of the month? No, I'll say do it now. Anybody else need to do the visa? Unless you're applying for a single entry, which you can... And you can apply for next month, uh, mid next month. Um, if you're looking to do a multiple entry, I'll say apply for the visas uh, now, then later. So, so send it in, finish it, and send it in now. Yes, exactly. Okay, okay, okay. I just want to get that clear that I'm not sending it too early, and uh, no, I no want to get, I want to get everything right on the uh, visa documents in the package. All right, absolutely no problem. And uh, what you can do also, you can put the phone person on the phone on Staples and let me talk with them so I can confirm that they see four, you know, four attachments. That way we make sure everything is clear. So I'll be on standby. Stand by. Okay, okay, okay. I think that's the only thing that I'm concerned about right there. So you pretty much uh, helped me with that, and I can talk to you tomorrow about it, okay? Absolutely, Errol, I got you. We'll get it worked out. Okay. Oh, oh, the flight itinerary, are you going to send me a copy of it? Yes, that, that's also the other email that was sent to you. So put them on the phone with me, and then I'll verify that they have both emails. I'll be in my office in the morning. Okay, okay. okay. All, right. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, absolutely, you're welcome. Thanks. Hello, Carolyn from Florida. Carolyn, go ahead. Yes, I'd like to have um, a copy of the flight itinerary for me, sent to me, and for Ms. Fatima. Please, anyone need any documents, please just email me and say, Bomani, I need this document. Can you please send it to me, and I'll get it to you right away. Now, when I go over there and I exchange my American money for the not money in Ghana, if I don't spend all the money, will, will they exchange it back to my money? Yes, uh, you can just give the money back to our money exchanger, which would be on the bus when we're driving back to the airport, and he can give you some U.S. dollars for your uh, Ghana CDs. Okay. Now, this is just a general question. If anybody from the United States is going to Ghana for a visit, do they have to have a visa? Every single person that's traveling with me needs to get a Ghana visa, and every single person that's traveling with me is a U.S. citizen or has a U.S. passport. 
And okay, thank you. Um, hold, anything else? Okay, then I think that is all I need. Oh, oh I hello, need the, hello. I, I didn't get. I did not get the visa package. So, I, you want me to email that to you, and you'll send it back. I'm sending you an email. Please check your inbox. I just sent it to you. Okay, you're sending it to me now, and I'm I'm on my computer right now. That's all I could. No problem, sir. Okay then. Okay. All right. Thank Hi. you. And hello. Uh, did you get did, did you get the email? Because email is being sent to you. Okay, I'm going to my inbox now, okay. and. Yes, I have it. Uh, there it is. Ghana visa requirements application. Thank you. I have it right here now. All right, perfect. I'm sending you the flight attendant for Tima. Darling, give me a second. I'll get that to you right now. No problem. Excellent. So, perfect. So, family, anybody that's traveling with me, please, we need to make sure anything that you don't have or need to get resent, we need to communicate. Uh, we're leaving them. We're coming up on uh, three months. All right, so Carolyn and Fatima, uh, you got those emails and anything else you need, just uh, you know, let me know and i get it to you. And other than that, let me know if you have any other questions. That's uh, perfect. All right, so everyone, um, I'm available throughout the day to take care of business and I want to get those things out of the way to make sure everybody gets receipts, flight itinerary, visa information, any documents you need. Uh, that is always my goal. So family line is open. McRoy, can you yes, hear me? Yes, uh, sir, I hear you. Okay. Uh, yes, so I had a question uh, about the celebrations due to the year of return uh -huh. on day three while we're there in Accra. Do you know if they're having any activities in the celebrations uh, due to the year of return? Unfortunately, uh, no, uh, because I didn't plan my trip around their fiasco. So, but uh, nevertheless, if there are, you can go. Uh, the only thing is just we have a full schedule tour. But as far as my knowledge, it, there's different events are scheduled throughout the whole year, but I uh, didn't see any, any main events uh, during the times that we have the tour. But I can definitely okay. can post it off. There's anything that you want to look for see or find, you can definitely share with the rest of us. Okay, great. Thank you. Right, Hello. Hello. This is Beulah from Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, Beulah, go ahead. Yeah, in reference to filling out the visa application, the, um, the application uh, that you sent as an example now, are we to fill things out on the second page exactly as you have filled it out, except for our personal information, the name of the hotel, the contact person, and so forth? That's to be filled out exactly as you have it? Exactly. Everything that you need is there, uh, Bila. There's everyone, family, please verify this for attachment for the visa email. One is a sample and one is a blank application. It's titled different. And sometimes people look at things, oh, they sent me two of the same. No, there's nothing two of the same I sent. It's, you know, so it's on there. All right. And also when it comes to the visa itself, if I'm looking for the single visa, is, is there, um, like I know I'll get it in March, so I, could, I should get it by, I should send in my visa application approximately what, um, the 22nd of March or? Um, what I was saying is send it mid-March. 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 Okay. And I will get it within seven days, they say. Mid-March. Seven days. Okay. But what I'm asking everyone to do is take a look at the website and take a look at the emails and follow through and process it. That way we can be mm -hmm. sure that I see that people are summoning over the same information about the visa, but they're also not opening the visa email when, when they're sent, and they're also not printing out the details. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said to everyone, every single information, including the visa information, is on the website, on the tour link. Once you fill out the visa application, you go down to the very bottom, it will say for mailing use address, Visa Processing Center, Embassy of Ghana. So the only thing that you're putting on the money is Embassy of Ghana. 
uh, MAC of Ghana. Twelve International Drive, Northwest Washington D.C. Okay, I was going to the Ghana Embassy. Make that out, and we have the address here. Okay. Okay. If I have questions about that, I'll get back with you on it. I just want to make sure I make it out correctly and it gets to the right place. All right. Thank you. All right, excellent. You're welcome. And also, when you're physically there and you need, you need me to help you with information, just call me when you're in front of your computer and in front of the details. I got you. Because I understand it may be frustrating. It may be confusing for people. You know, it's, 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 it's like that sometimes. So I don't have no problem helping anyone. Uh, but just, you know, just, you just try to flow with it. And also, Barbara Sutton, you had a question. Hi. Um, good evening, everybody. Good evening, Bomani. As far as um, our exchange, exchanging uh, U.S. dollars to CDs, it's best to bring large bills to exchange. Uh, yes, the uh, the large bills uh, give you a greater denomination. So 100 uh, or 50 U.S. dollars give you a denomination of exchange rate of probably of 4.7. Uh, if you give a 20 or $10 bill, maybe they give you 4.4, 4.3, and, or maybe even less. And so it just it's, uh, it's doesn't make no sense. It never made any sense to me from the beginning. But uh, it's just how they do things in Ghana. And okay. that's the only country I know that they do that. So when we leave Atlanta, we'll be leaving from Atlanta going to Amsterdam and from Amsterdam to Ghana. So we don't need to exchange our money until we get into Ghana, correct? Uh, yes, exactly. So once you get to Ghana, I have, you know, I have my folks there to exchange the money for you when we get to the hotel. And then okay. and during the time of us traveling, um, I have – He'll be available, and then we have access to AT machines and things that people can get their money every day. I realize that sometimes when you have a combination of people, it's just, it's just, what you, it's just something that you just have to do every day. So wherever it's set to be done every day, especially the days where you know we have the chance to do a lot of shopping. Now, as far as our $50 um, group tip, do we bring that? Uh, uh, how, how, exactly how do we need to handle that? Do we give that to uh, you? you know, excuse me, sorry about that. Um, the group tips, are, it's um, 50 U.S. dollars. You can bring it to when, you get, when, you, when we meet in Amsterdam or Atlanta or in Ghana. Okay. Um, now, do we, uh, and we can bring a check-in. We can bring um, one check-in and carry on. Yes, yeah, so as far as your... Uh, yeah, you check in. It's uh, two check bags, 50 pounds each, and then you have um, you know, two uh, carry-on. And regardless if you're doing double connection with us, we're doing single connection. So it's uh, still the same rule. There's two bags. It's a part of our full itinerary. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, also, Barbara, uh, since we're going through the visa stuff, do you have your a visa email that you have printed out or... Yeah, I have my I have my sample that you did. I have my copy. I have everything, and I'm I'm good, and uh, I don't have any questions. Um, we just send our passport. We send our actual physical passport along with our application. Um, for some reason, I don't know why I was thinking I needed to send my birth certificate, but I don't think I need to do that. I don't want to confuse it. I don't want to start any confusion, but I don't think I need to send the birth certificate, do I? Um, no, and that's the thing about it. Whenever you look at these documents, uh, you know, with me, it's a, it's a simple thing. Just, you know, just print it out and look at it. Uh, it, it would, I won't miss. I won't make sure that nothing is missing for you. But um, yeah. you don't send those documents. You only send when you're trying to get a passport. But with your, yeah. you got a visa, you're just doing the, the, the full application, the two passport-style photos, the $100, $100 uh, money order. Um, you're doing the flight itinerary. You do a bank bank statement, and you put in a prepaid return envelope. That's the, the bulk of it. But the email have a nice little checklist. Right? Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm clear with the visa. I I don't have any problem with the visa. I'm good with that. Okay. Other than that, I'm good. All right. Excellent. Uh, that sounds good. All right. 
Well, good talking to you, and I'll see you around, Barbara. Okay. All right. <laughs> And family, I'm about to close. Uh, does anybody have any questions before we close? Any last minute uh, questions before we close? All right, so family, uh, beyond that, um, if you, anybody have any questions, just please just uh, email me. And if there's something that you need to talk to me about, I don't have a problem with you calling. Uh, just give me a call and let's get everything cleared up. We've got um, two journeys that just trying to get everybody everything they need to make sure everything is clear. So hopefully everything is clear for everyone. Uh, other than that, um, just reach out to me. So, family, take care. Everybody, good night. I'm going to mute the call and connect back with everyone. Mm -hmm.